We're beginning now with breaking news. We're staying on the breaking news we first told you about on wavy.com and in a special live report around 4.30 this afternoon. This all started as a police chase in the Great Bridge area of Chesapeake. Officers were trying to stop a van suspected in an abduction. Wavy's jam cams caught officers chasing that driver on 464 into Norfolk. And police say the driver raced into downtown Norfolk and tried to get away by jumping into the water in the Freemason area. Only Chopper 10 was over the scene in the Elizabeth River when the Coast Guard tried to pull the suspect to safety. 10 on your side's John Massey watched the whole thing unfold from the air, and he joins us now with the latest. John, still a scene out there. What's going on? Indeed, there is right now. We're taking a live look from Chopper 10 down on the van that still remains at the end of the West Freemason Avenue. It's right where the water meets the shoreline. That's where the suspect abandoned the vehicle, ran across the pier, and decided to jump into the water on the Elizabeth River side, on the Norfolk side, and started swimming over toward the Portsmouth side. Now, obviously, this time of the year, that water is extremely cold. He thought better of it when the Coast Guard runabout did show up, swam back to the pier and climbed up on the pier and that's where he was taken into custody by police. Now I do have a little bit of updated information for you. We told you earlier initially the call came out as a possible abduction. Now what took place is a man and a woman went into a grocery store. He, he got out of the van to go into the grocery store. She stayed in the van when the suspect approached the van. At that time he pulled her out of the van and took off with the van. So the abduction part of the story has gone away. It was a carjacking that came from Great Bridge all the way up to Norfolk, ended here on the West Freemason section of uh, downtown, through the downtown area, and with a very cold and wet suspect when he was taken into custody. But we have our own Jason Marks on the ground down below that can give us some more details. Jason. Hey, yeah, John, you pretty much summed it up all right there, but let's show you what things look like here on the ground. This is uh, the end of Freemason here in downtown Norfolk. You can see right down there is the Norfolk Boat Club, and that's where officers are focusing their investigation. Now, we have seen Chesapeake detectives along with Norfolk police here. As you mentioned, that chase started in Chesapeake, came here to downtown Norfolk after a very long chase, looping around the area, and ended right here next to the water. Now, that's the boathouse you're seeing, uh, the, the boat club. Club, and uh, that's where this whole investigation is taking place. We have not seen the suspect here on the ground since we arrived, uh, and there hasn't been many people walking around. But uh, all we really see is just officers uh, doing their thing. Uh, we've seen some come and go, uh, but uh, we're going to stay here on the scene. We just got here a short time ago on the ground. Uh, we're going to continue to collect information, and we'll certainly have an update for you. I wave news 10 at 6. Jason, I'm certainly familiar with that area. I even took yoga over there by the pagoda. I used to have classes out there, so I know people are out there walking their dogs and going for an evening run. You say you haven't seen too many people? Well, it's, I, I can't. So, guys, I'm going to send it back to you. Something's you wrong. I cannot hear anything you guys are saying right okay, now. Okay, no problem. Jason Marks there on the ground force there in the West Freemason area where that chase ended. When the guy jumped in the water and police got him, we'll have more on this on wavy.com. That's right, and we'll update you right here as soon as we get any new information.